Hello, welcome to the video importing a MySQL database schema into an AWS RDS instance. I think that title explains pretty well what I will be demonstrating in this short video. The activities in this video assume that you already have an AWS MySQL RDS instance created and that you have access to a MySQL dump file that can be used to create a database. If you do not yet have those, be sure to stop and do that if you plan to work along with the video. Otherwise, feel free to just watch and enjoy. Just remember, this is no Tiger King. First, we need to get the endpoint URL for your AWS RDS instance. You can see mine here. To get to this page, I entered the RDS dashboard on Amazon Web Services, then clicked on my RDS instance name. Let's grab our endpoint URL by simply highlighting it, then right-click and choose Copy. Now open your MySQL Workbench. From the Welcome page, click on the plus symbol to create a new connection. Give your connection a name. This is for you to recognize which connection it is, just in case you have multiple connections. Next, paste your endpoint into the box labeled Host Name. It may appear blank at first, but scroll back and you will see that it is entered. Be sure to add your username for your RDS instance. Then click OK. At this point, you may need to then click on the connection itself in order to open the AWS RDS instance in MySQL Workbench. After you do that, enter your password in the dialog box that appears. What we need to do is import our SQL dump file into RDS in order to create our database. To do that, click on the Administration tab. Choose Data Import. Now you will browse for your SQL file. Click on the Import from Self-Contained File. Now click on the button next to that to browse for your file. Once you find it, click Open. Then click on the button for Start Import. Now click on the Schema tab to see that your database is loaded. You will probably need to click the Refresh icon to actually see your schema. Note that I can expand the schema to look at the tables. Here you can see my photos table. So, we now have a database that we can use to store data about our images from our example application. Enjoy!